Welcome to Talk Nerdy. I'm Kyle, the host. I got my co-host, Double O Joe. Okay. All right, guys. Today we're going to be talking about the new, about the best thing that's come out in the last few weeks: the trailer to Halo. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to this. Absolutely. Before we get into this, there's one thing I have to say, just for the haters out there. Halo the TV series is not canon. It is its own individual thing. So yes, you can complain all you want, saying, oh, it's not like the games, because it's not supposed to be. But yeah, from the trailer, from things that we've seen in the trailer, we have epicness such as the elites, Master Chief's armor looks amazing. The locations look great. We have a, ca- uh, a cast of reoccurring characters. We have, yeah, we, 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 from the trailer, we see about, I think we see four Spartans. Also, just l- the production value. Look at their armor. I want it. It's beautiful. Don't you, don't you already have Halo armor? I did. We painted it, we painted it orange and maroon. If you want to know why, check the link down below. I thought you'd recognize the quality of the armor. Uh, at least it actually looks. Your armor that's from the game actually looks like it could be from there. I mean, the amount of stuff we've seen recently, you know, character and costume designs, and they look like nothing like the original source. The Covenant. From what, I, I'm not sure how accurate this is, but I've heard rumors that some of the Covenant are going to be are, are practical effects. They're going to be suits. Now, looking at the size of these elites, I'm not 100% sure, but if it is, that'd be awesome. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'd, I'd want one. If they're actual suits, I'd, I want one. One of an elite. <laughs> I, um, what, have seen, what have we seen so far? Who's, who made an appearance in the chariot? We, uh, we've seen the elites. We've seen, we've we've seen, seen the jackals. Right, so we, uh, we've seen some phantoms. Uh, yes, uh, what were the worm things? Uh, oh, oh, uh, yes. The, the, uh, right here, uh, they were attacking uh, the soldiers. I know they were with the human antagonists. I don't uh, don't recognize them. Uh, I'm guessing those are hunters, because if I remember correctly, hunters are a colony. Like those suits are just containing colonies of worms. That's why. I, I, are they? Yeah, because if you remember in um in uh Halo two, one of the prophets points out the whole the taming of the hunters. And uh, in Halo Master Chief Edition, I think there's a terminal which shows uh, an arbiter. There's a video of an arbiter taming the, the hunter worms. Uh, I think the uh, I think um, two hunters is one colony. That's why if you kill a hunter, the other the other one will go berserk. See, I had no idea Halo lore was this deep. <laughs> For me, I thought they were just fucking bigger elites. <laughs> Of course you have that. Of course you have that. You've got me at a disadvantage, mate. Exactly. So you're just looking up all the answers there? Uh, right now, no. <laughs> a little bit of light reading when I'm at work. It has, every, it, it, has, it has all the updated information. This is an out-of-date book. It has only the updated information as far as Halo Reach. The quality of the elites of, of the Covenant, though, looks great. They, 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 this could have been one of those... Opportun- they could have taken the opportunity to... To half-ass them, make it make them make them one of those things where you hardly see them. I my biggest fear when I saw the humans in the trailer was that the main antagonists were going to be the insurrection. You seeing Chief fight two elites at the same time? Yes. But uh, ooh, the, that scene with the energy sword coming through the, coming through the uh, the wall. Oh, I love it! Absolutely love it. One thing about the uh, about the trailer I thought was pretty cool that it showed lit- what looks like gameplay. It's not it's it's live action, but it's it's like gameplay. You for like a half a second you can see through Chief's visor, where, like like you're playing Halo the Halo games. That's what gives uh, video game movies and TV shows its own identity in a way when they make a reference to the gameplay that it's based on. Oh uh, yeah, they, so we they, 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 them. they've done that in a couple of video game movies. Even even the not great ones, but they still, which was still cool to see. Because in um in Doom, it showed like a minute long scene of um of Doom guy, Doom guy, 
going through the hallways first person. And in like uh, the Hitman movie with uh, Timothy Oliphant, is that how you pronounce his name? I don't know. I've quit trying to pronounce names. <laughs> anyway, like, there's a scene where Agent 47 is walking to the bathroom and for like a split second, the camera focuses on him and you see him walking down and you see like the barcode at the back of his head. That's normally the view you get when you're playing the game as him from um, that perspective. In a fan film for, for the Uncharted with Nathan, Nathan Fillion, it, there's a moment where it shows like a, looks like a cutscene where he jumps out of the uh, jumps out of a window, and then the camera pans down to look like third person shooting, like a third person view, like in the gameplay. That's just little little things like that which would make video game movies unique. Every every franchise has their little uh, uh, tropes. We'll call them tropes. But just to go back to something that we said. Uh, at the beginning, about this being set in its own sort of uh, universe storyline. Well, I think that's really important for video game movies because if you're making a movie based on a game, do you really just want to use the exact same story from the game? The, the difference between the two of them is that you get to actually physically play one of them. So I think it's actually kind of good that if they do a a TV show, again, or a movie that's based on a video game, it just tweaks the story a little bit, give it its own thing, focus on different aspects, or again, what they're doing in Halo is just redoing the uh, the story. One thing, I've, I've, one thing I've said several... Oops, I just moved my mouse. Mm -hmm. One thing I, I've said several times over the years, video games should never be made into movies. If you're going to make it, let me phrase that. If you're going to make it into a movie, original story, use the characters if you want, but its own standalone story. Video games should be made into TV shows because of the episodic nature of levels. Gives you more time exactly. to flesh out the story. Because look uh, at The Witcher. The same thing. Whoa. Arcane. Witcher's like the best example. Witcher, Arcane. Well, Witcher was a video game that was based on a book. Yes, yes, I'm not going to deny that, but imagine trying to do what they did in season one in a movie. Oh, and if, they and, and fucked up. An example of standalone movie with a good story, uh, that, the, that, that anime one on Netflix, when it's based on uh, Geralt's uh, mentor when he was younger. Younger, he was like 90 in that movie. <laughs> yes, so he, he, look, he looked, he physically looked younger. 90, 97 years old and better shape than me. <laughs> I don't know why. Why can't I get in shape? It's not. Oh, there you go. Right there. <laughs> Maybe put down the dude once in a while. I just offended like half of America, didn't I? I don't know. There's another callback. His chief is walking up and ripping a minigun off, off the turret and just started walking with it. <laughs> I mean, that was that was fun. I can't wait to see that scene in film. But no, this I'm excited. Is clearly you can see he's excited. Okay, there's one thing. There's, there's one thing we have to talk about that I have seen mixed reviews on involving involving the show. I either people either hate okay. it or they love it. There's very few people with, in the middle ground. Cortana's design. I have to admit, I'm sort of in the middle ground of that one. Really? Where it's overall, I like it. I, I, do, I, I don't see anything wrong. Well, well not saying anything wrong. Like, I don't see anything embarrassingly bad about it. Again, but I'm it's not, not sure Go ahead. if the flesh color work that much. I just, maybe, maybe it's just because I'm used to the, uh, the original Cortana. She has such an iconic design about her. But, you know, I'm not against seeing something new, seeing something different. I Just like have to it. wait and see. I personally like it. And the fact that, yes, her CGI model is designed off the actress playing Dr. Halsley, but the voice is Cortana from the games, which is awesome. Wasn't Cortana based off of Dr. Halsley in the game? Yeah, she's a, they, she cloned her brain. So it makes sense that she actually looks like Halsey. 
Yeah. Yeah. Here's a question. Um, over the course of the trailer, you've seen a lot of uh, snippets, uh, some clips, some audio dialogue that uh, kind of hints at maybe a counter arc from Master Chief. I so hope what's it... that line they said about uh, the Spartan? They are indestructible, upgradable, and controllable. Because hmm. I'm not that familiar. I'm not gonna, as evident enough. I'm not too in depth with Halo lore, even though I absolutely love the series and the games. Which, which we are currently, which, which we are currently playing. Join us on Twitch. Hi, <laughs> watch me shoot innocent people. <laughs> I can't really tell you the story. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> um, well, Halo Leech, armors, and a shotgun. That's all I want to say. Uh, from what I understand about the UNSC, about the uh, Spartans, they were trained and indoctrinated from a very young age. I think Chief, I think Chief was like six when he was recruited. So to, we're talking like proper brainwashing. Proper brainwashing. Their entire life has been. Chief has three mindsets: um, salute them, defend them, shoot them. Well, the reason why I ask is because it kind of starts off with showing Master Chief as this unstoppable killing machine. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much accurate. So, but oh, I, I get it. the artifact. And he's talking about, like, oh, I feel different. So do you think this is going to be, like, a, a story, a character arc for him where it's, he's blindly loyal? Rediscovering, his, his, rediscovering his humanity? Kind of. Yeah, kind of. Because I kind of get the feeling that he's going to connect with the new character who was made for this... Um, uh, TV show. What was the name again? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't looked at the names she, yet. She's part of the, the, she's, I think she's part of the insurgents. I can sort of see them getting a bond or something like that. And maybe like over time, Master Chief becomes, as you put it, with, rediscovers his humanity. I just hope they don't do what they did in Halo Five. Don't get me wrong. I like the gameplay of Halo Five, but I don't want them sending a Spartan team after Chief saying he's gone rogue. Because we're still in the middle of the war, Chief is is not going to suddenly betray the UN, the UNSC. I just think it's going to be more like he's just not going to follow orders too blindly. Now, like he'll still be loyal to humanity, still be loyal to the UNSC, but he's just not going to do things strictly their way anymore. He's just going to do things his own way. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah. I just feel like that's the way they're sort of going with uh, Master Chief in this series. Well, it comes out in March. I'm already getting Paramount streaming. And hopefully when it comes, when it comes out, I'm going to be able to watch them and do put out reviews. I know I have no credit. In that, in, I realize I have no credit in, the, in, that, uh, in that category, but hopefully I can build some. Anyways, this has been Talk Nerdy with Kyle. And this guy. And you. <laughs> hey. I'll find you. I'm sure you will. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, okay. Actually, that's a lie. Uh, leave your comment down below. Tell us what you think. Is, uh, is Cortana's design good? Is it bad? Or the, or is, is this going to be a crap show? Is it going to be good? Let us know what you think. Have a good one.